The lights, which are part of the Sports Commission's Light It Up campaign, were handed over to the chairman by Director of Sport Christopher Jones in the compound of the National Sports Commission. The campaign seeks to ensure that all sports grounds countrywide are equipped with adequate lighting. Within Region 9, we have talented players, we have, we have persons who can do well in the line of athletics, sports in general. And um, one of our major downfalls of these athletes in the Rupununi is that um, they were never exposed to light or running and playing on the light. Now that we are developing such move in the Rupununi, I believe it's going to boost the sports even better than where it is today. Sport Director Jones described the donation of the lights and other sports gear as part of the Commission's mandate to decentralize sports. He added that even though the hinterland possesses a lot of raw talent in the past, a lot of the equipment has been donated to coastlanders. Arnaputa Valley is at the North Rupununi, which is a distance away from um, Lethem. We wanted to ensure that the young people um, in that um, part of the region have the opportunity as those in the Lethem region. Um, this is part of the start because essentially the community has been doing some development work on the ground and of course as Aidan mentioned we wanted those athletes to have the opportunity to practice on the floodlights hence we make this donation. Over the past two years the government has been heavily investing in sporting activities in the hinterland regions countrywide in an effort to uncover and nurture the hidden talents that lie in those far-flung areas.